N20, yeah. What are you doing? I'm gonna put some charge packs on there. Make it look pretty. Here's a stock charge pipe, right? Yeah. Runs down to the intercooler. And this is our aftermarket charge pipe. Why are we replacing this charge pipe? The uh, stock charge pipe uh, cracks here. Since it's plastic, over time it cracks. That's why they make an aluminum one. And if it cracks, you'll be left on the road. Yeah. Stranded. So this is why we're doing it. Uh, we're going to do it with our VRSF. Uh, charge pipe and then we also have a lip that he wants us to install so we have the hardware here right and uh, Eddie's gonna install it sweet all right Eddie let's get started did you notice something what was that did you notice something no I'm just taking pictures oh okay cool just before and after stuff yeah all right so he already has a, an air filter right aftermarket air filter or sorry performance 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 air filter and now we're just gonna replace this this charge pipe here see that the plastic piece here eventually they um, they all come in broken we don't want that customer doesn't want that right nope sweet how are we gonna get started all right well we're gonna disconnect the sensor here and we're gonna unclip the hose with this uh, Locking clip here. Uh huh. We're gonna do the same on bottom. There's a second one. All right, cool. Do we need to do anything pre in pre uh, preliminary? Preliminary. Maybe we remove the bumper. No. Maybe just the bottom covers. That to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So that way we can access it, right? Because it this this here is a uh, one piece, right? Yeah. And our uh, our new one is. It's a two piece. Two piece. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome, Eddie. Can't wait to get started. I just need to get the middle of that. Also, oh, it holds? It holds, yeah. A good tip right there. See that? You heard it from Eddie. Oh, easy tip. It's not hanging on you. Well, preliminary, what do you need? All right, we're going to need a uh, 90 pick. Usually, it helps taking out the clips uh -huh. if you want. Uh, ratchet with a 10 socket for the clamps and a 3 millimeter Allen for the sensor that we're going to be taking out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty simple. Uh, here's the first one here. You can see where the clip is at. We're going to take the bottom off. You're also going to want a 5mm Allen for the plugs that are on the, the tubes because they don't always come tight. So you want to make sure these are tight before you install them. Otherwise, they shoot out and then you get loose deviation curve. If you don't want that. Sweet. Have to, um, finesse it out. Finesse it? Yeah. So we unclip this here. Uh, make sure you disconnect your sensor and you get this vacuum line out of the way. And you should be able to wiggle it out. So you can't see it from the top, but from underneath, this is where that vacuum hose goes onto. So you make sure you don't want to fight that and break it. Now that it's out, we're going to need T25s to take out the sensor. We're going to replace it with the, the 3 millimeter screws. Okay. Make sure you transfer the clips too. Um, this the stock one has like a little bracket. You just get your little screwdriver and pop it out. Okay. Refitting the bottom. Yeah. Sweet. It's easier from up here than versus down there. Oh, big time. Awesome. It's nice that it's a two-piece, huh? Yeah. 
So what are we doing next? So now we gotta get the coupler on, now that the bottom piece is on. And just getting the fittings, you know, the clamps right. This, this is where your tent comes in because of the nut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Loosen it up so everything flows? Yeah. Nice. So we want to make sure the clamps are facing both ways. Looks nice. Looks professional. Right? Yeah, it looks good. Rings exposed. And now, we'll, before we tie him down, we're gonna get the top piece on. So we're not fighting anything, and we can shift how we want to. Nice. Now you're gonna transfer the uh, sensor. The sensor, yeah. Stops on. And you've already tightened these down. Yeah. I tied one down, I'm going to show you. It has two. Make sure they're both tight. Three millimeters. They're washers. Sweet. Now that's to tighten up the clamp. I mean yeah. the uh, sensor. We also want to transfer the O-ring, right? The O-ring that goes right here mm -hmm. from our stock pipe to this one. Yeah, to that one. So we so have a nice see groove in there, right? Yeah, it's got a, it's got the groove in there. Sweet. Transfer it. <laughs> Can't forget our little vacuum line right at the bottom. On the bottom, right? You can you access that afterwards, or do you have to do that before? Um, pretty sure I could do it afterwards. Right. So more important to fit it in into its place. Yeah. Back at it. Now installing the clamp. Yeah, the clamp. Uh, the coupler. Mm -hmm. It's already ready on top. Yeah, mm. the top is already connected. Nice. Ready to go. Tie in with the ten. Yeah, baby, nice day. All right, we don't want them coming off. So, so overall, you know, it's not too bad. Um, it takes about 20 minutes overall installation with the right tools if you have it all prepared. And this is the final outcome and how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Nice. So what do we gotta do next? Test it? Yeah. Test it, go drive it, make sure it's good.
You wanna go drive it? Yeah. Oh. Nice.